Function number one is function geometry. So this function is supposed to calculate the parameters of a beam given the desired cross section. So here's your cross section, circle, rectangle, I-beam, T-beam, L-beam, uh, and orientation, so vertical or horizontal. Uh, for invalid inputs, all outputs should return with value of negative one. Okay, so if anything is invalid, it should be a negative one. So your cross section is gonna be number one, two, three, four, five. That's your first input, it's a number. Your second one is going to be your area. That's essentially what this is equal to. Area equals. Um, so this is also a number. And then your orientation, which is also a number. So your orientation is one or two. One for horizontal, so this one, and two for vertical. Your output arguments is you're going to calculate what A is going to be and what B. So A and B are these numbers here. So you're given the area. You need to go ahead and calculate A and B. So you're gonna use a nested branching statement. So a branching statement to figure out the cross section and then a branching statement inside of that to figure out your horizontal calculation and to calculate I, um, which is your third output. So for each area, you're going to more or less derive what A and B calculations are gonna be. So, and then we'll give you a ratio. So for a circle, your ratio for A to B is two. So if a equals pi over b squared and a over b equals two, you can go ahead and figure out your calculations. So use this to solve for b. So here b would be a over pi square root. And then here uh, a would be two times b. So these are the calculations you would have to use in your function. So you can do the same thing for all other cross sections. So for all other cross sections, uh, a over b is six. So given your a, and then b, a over b equals six. Given these two equations, you can go ahead and calculate what a is, what your calculation for b is going to be, and what your calculation for a is going to be. Remember, this is given. This is your input. So do that for all of the other ones, uh, and then you'll go ahead and have your branching statement that chooses, okay, given a circular cross section, uh, this is what A is going to be, this is what B is calculated as, and then given your, um, uh, your orientation, you can go ahead and calculate what it is for a vertical cross-section or horizontal cross-section. Remember, if any input is invalid, so think about it as cross-section being invalid and orientation being invalid, we will assume all areas are greater than zero. So assume all areas are valid. Um, but all the other ones, all the other ones, if they are invalid, go ahead and return negative one for A, negative one for B, and negative one for I. Once you have all of that put together, that is your geometry function.